How we doing, Nation? I just wanted to remind you about something new going on here on the channel. We have our first Instagram page. It's called Cody's Card Closet. You can find it in the description below, or you can search Instagram for Cody's Card Closet. It's going to feature cards that you see right here on the channel. It's going to show off some more of my personal autograph collection, so you can check that out. It's also going to have some cards that are available for purchase, um, so then people who follow the page can get cards for a more reasonable price than they'd be able to on eBay with the fees that are found over there, and it'll help me out as well and help grow the channel. So make sure you go check out Instagram, Cody's Card Closet, now on with the rest of the video. How we doing, Nation? Cracking some more Heritage Baseball. Looking for some short prints. Love to pull one. I'd really love to pull one of those action variations. Don't have any of those yet. So let's see what we get. Okay, and we have Taylor Rogers, who's my um, one of my fantasy closers that I got lucky with. We have Wilson Ramos. And this is, he's running. Okay, it's not a variation. You can never tell because some of them are action shots, but they're not variations, so that's interesting. Jose Ramirez, the newest Tampa Bay Ray. I'm really high on him this year. Mark Melanson. Adam Adovino. Jed Jerko. Just looks so busy when they write it out. Joe Jimenez. We got, oh, backwards card. Raphael Devers. Oh, that's really cool. He's actually, um... My Dynasty third baseman. That is sweet. We got Archie Bradley. Chase Anderson. He signs through the mail. I kind of wish I had this card when I sent to him recently. Ryan Zimmerman. That's a really cool card. Jose Peraza. Marcus Simeon. Chad Pender. Virginia Tech Hokie alum. Looks like the background's black and white. I wonder if that has to do with the time of day they took it. Catel Marte, Michael Givens, Mike Leak, and Denilson Lamette. So overall, that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and check for short prints here. No short prints, but I did want to show the difference here. You can tell Simeon was taken in the afternoon, Pender taken in the evening. Exact same location, but it's just funny kind of how that worked out. So anyway, I'm really happy I was able to pull that relic. Um, Devers, pretty awesome young player. Hoping to find my first action variation of the year. I've had really bad luck with it. Um, we'll see what happens. Now, I'm not holding out hope for the action variations. I know they're pretty rare. Um, that's probably why I haven't gotten one yet. But we'll see what we get. Chris Taylor, uh, Virginia Beach native. Played at UVA. To line up the shields. We got Nicky Lopez. This is a new card for me. So that's pretty cool. Brandon Lau, he's on my Dynasty team, happy about that. I love these that um, are kind of the Nationals postseason run. Um, what a great season. I'll just have to kind of live through that until baseball's back. Kinley Jansen, we've got Mike Miner. Oh, we have a, um, a mini of Yuan Mankata. This is pretty cool. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. I was pretty happy about that. Wow, they're numbered. 80 out of 100. So that's really awesome. So you won Mankata, 80 out of 100. Pretty happy about that. Hands for Alberto. We have a Juan Lagares. That's, um, look at the centering on that. That is awful. <laughs> you can see the left to right is terrible on these here in the back. As far as collation goes, the Javi Baez, maybe even worse. ERA leaders. Now it's straightened itself out, Manny Machado. Because I really do think these are beautiful design. Rowdy Tellez. Here's the pitching leaders with Steven Strasburg right at the top. That's going to be four. Okay, I believe that's wins. Yep. I wonder what he led the league in. Josh James. And Kevin Kiermeyer. So just to recap, no short prints, but we did get this Yuan Mankata. Um, mini, numbered 80 out of 100. So I think that's pretty awesome. Um, if any of you are White Sox fans out there, would be interested in that card. 
Um, let me know. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about getting that, my first mini out of Heritage. I'm really trying to hunt down those World Series and NLCS cards, um, especially since the Nationals won it. Some good memories there around the World Series. So I figured I'd just crack open some more, see if we can complete the set, and let's go ahead and break into it. Now you do get a chance in these um, to pull short prints. Um, there's action variations. There's, I think, some other weird stuff. There's like some French ones, which I have never pulled a French language card ever. Um, the retail stuff also has the um, the scratch offs again. Back this year, Luis Severino. Um, he's going to be out for a while. Just really like um, these designs. I think they're really cool. Ahmed Rosario. I'm not sure if that's an action variation. We'll check at the end. Carlos Correa. We do have a scratch off. Evan Longoria from um, the Giants. We got Sandy Alcantara. Here's an ALCS Game 5. Um, not quite the ones I'm looking for. Chad Pender. This is cool. He played for Virginia Tech. I'm so glad I was able to get him. Cattell Marte. I find it interesting. It says OF. Like, they'll abbreviate that, but they don't abbreviate the second base. Like, if they play multiple positions, just go ahead and abbreviate both of them. But, you know, that's um, kind of how Heritage does it. There's a Carpenter. That's an action, but I don't know if it's a variation or not. Cool Brian Reynolds um, Gold Cup card. We got Steven Matz. And lastly, Andrew Heaney for the Angels. So let's go ahead and check and see if we have any short prints. Okay, so here's what I was able to figure out. The scratch off are one in eight fat packs. We also have this Correa, which um, as you can see on the back is a French text. I've never seen one of these before. Um, they are one in 111 fat packs. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, it's too bad it's an Astro. I don't know if that affects the value at all, but pretty happy about that. I feel like the success in 2020 um, continue so far. Let's open another pack. 2020 Tops Heritage, seeing what's in there. Um, really like the design. Um, hopefully we get something good, some good rookies, maybe a short print action variation would be pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and rip it open. Okay, we got Chance Cisco, Michael Franco, who's with the Royals now, Mitch Haniger, Yuan Mancata. Yachty Molina, that's a pretty cool picture. ALCS Game 4. Chris Taylor from the Dodgers. I actually met him once. I was working a signing for Tops. Um, I had to get him some stuff. David Bodie. Okay, this is cool. We have a Pete Alonzo um, Heritage Chrome card. It's numbered out of 999, so that's really cool. Alonzo Gold Cup card. Here's NLCS Game 2, Mad Max Silence is the Cardinals. I'm almost more pumped about this than I am the Alonzo, just because being a Nationals fan, um, kind of working my way through these sets, and the NLCS ones is the ones I need the most of still. Kinley Jansen, Mike Miner. There's Rookie Stars with Nico Horner. Mike Fires, the man behind the Astros investigation, but I'm really glad they they did that and can try and clean the game up now. Evan Longoria, Xander Bogarts, we have Mariners rookie stars Austin Nola, Kyle Lewis, and Justin Dunn, which Austin Nola I think actually went to school with my wife's cousin, I think he was telling me, and Brian Anderson. So let me go ahead and check for short prints and see how we did. And we didn't get any short prints, but we did get the chrome of Alonzo. Which is pretty awesome. Those are one in 27 packs. So I've actually still yet to pull a short print out of a fat pack. Um, but I have done fairly well with the chromes for some reason. Um, just no base short print. But sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. Um, for every good pack, you end up having a dud pack. I would not call this a dud pack. Getting the Alonzo is pretty awesome. If you're going to get a chrome card, I feel like that's a good one to get. Um, so. Hopefully you're having some success with 2020 Heritage, um, at least until the next release comes out. I'll see you next time.